now. He's the chief investment officer at the Bonson Group. David, can you weigh in on this kind of top level discussion about being in stocks at all right now? Are you going to be kicking yourself in a year that you didn't get in or are you going to be sitting pretty because we could be in for a prolonged period of pain? No, I think in a year people will be kicking themselves and that's not to say that things will be 20 or 30 percent higher in a year. It's to say that this asset class is intended for long term investors and for a long term investor to miss those points at which there is distress and, and price depreciation is to take away a ton of the long-term gains that come for being in stocks. And so one year, three year, five year, you have to ride out certain periods of volatility. I think everyone knows that. I think history speaks to it very clearly, but it's hard during periods like this. And then you have to find things to do to make it less hard. Focus on quality, don't get overly speculative. You know, the heavy concentration in NASDAQ type names is hard to bear, but we think there's a better way for people. Are the 70s a good analogy for what we could be going through now? I mean, what are the lessons for investing in kind of a, a high inflation environment where you don't know how long that environment exactly is going to last? Yeah, it's very difficult to compare this to the 70s for a lot of reasons. The Federal Reserve was much less interventionist in the 70s. People could have said that's a bad thing or a good thing. You know, when you had the 74, 75 bear market, we were only three years removed from President Nixon taking us off the last vestiges of the gold standard. So the world has changed a lot in the last 48 years. I know that because I was born in 1974. <laughs> and Kelly, I think that right now, um, people are primarily trying to guess what the what people are going to guess about what the Fed does. That's no way to invest. People have to look at fundamental value. We do that by looking at dividends and cash flows and buy companies that long term are going to give that great return. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.